Hello and welcome to Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. We're finishing, or we're continuing on with our Quidditch match right now. Gryffindor versus Slytherin. Welcome to Quidditch. I'm your commentator, Lee Jordan. Hello, Lee. It's Gryffindor versus Slytherin. I like how he said that. Gryffindor versus Slytherin. The has three goals at each end. We know the rules. You do not have to explain them. Although I'm not sure I know the controls. Watch out for the bludgers. Okay. Wow, he's developing a stutter there. Are you okay, Lee? I can't hear you. <laughs> Something went wrong there. First, avoid the bludgers, then find and catch the snitch. The game is over when the snitch is caught. Good luck! Thank you, although I don't think I need it. I'm sure I can beat Slytherin easily. Up! After all, this is a game for ten-year-olds, so let's see. Let's play Quidditch! Ooh. A glint of gold? Is that the snitch? Here comes the Slytherin Potter! Where did it go? Amazing skill! Wow! Look at those seekers go! I've never seen such flying! This is amazing! He's getting closer! Unsuccessful. Ooh, look at Potter go. Come on, Gryffindor. Oh, uh, this is no. not easy. Sorry, I can't talk. Come on, Potter. Don't give up now. Potter seen the snitch. It just Stay is it, not Harry. going to fly in a straight direction. Harry Potter closes in on the snitch. Oh, it's just like stay on target. Look at those seekers go! Oh, hard luck, Gryffindor. Uh, what? I've never seen such flying. Oh, this is amazing. Come on, Gryffindor. Got it. Oh, Got it. Okay. Sorry, We're all good. Uh, my hands are actually sweating. That was not easy. Okay, this looks like a glitchy camera angle. I'm sure we are not supposed to be looking at this. There, that's better. Goodbye, Lee. Thanks for your help. Q narrator, right? We're waiting. Harry no? Potter, there we go. the youngest seeker in the history of Hogwarts, had won the Quidditch match. I knew we were going to. Back to Hogwarts, yes. Congratulations again for winning the Quidditch match against Slytherin. Thank you. You are fantastic. I was. Something wasn't is I? troubling me, Harry. What? Ron and I heard strange noises outside the Forbidden Corridor. Uh oh. Come up to the third floor and have a look. <clears throat> All right, we are getting further in the game now. Could this be near the end? I'm not sure. Just read in the Daily Prophet that Gringotts, the wizard bank, has been broken into. I wonder who'd do that. Yeah, I wonder. See, I thought this game was had a lot more, a lot more missions. It, but I guess I could be mistaken. I believe this is the only part of the game where you actually get to free roam through the entire castle. Could be wrong about that. I probably am wrong about that. 
but uh, I don't know, for some reason I was imagining a bunch more missions or classes. It's playing the Fred and George music, or the gnome music. Ah, they're sneaking away. I'm guessing we're supposed to follow them. You really do have a lightning bolt scar on your forehead. I do. Impressive, isn't it? Nintendo! I can't believe I don't get in trouble for doing this. Shall we follow Fred and George? Please stop that. We will, eventually. I just want to explore around some because this is one, if not the only, chance we have of exploring the school. Those gnomes are posing no little things, aren't they? Those gnomes are those gnomes that fish. This game is glitchy. Although I am playing it on a emulator, so that I'm sure has a lot to do with it. Ooh, secrets. And I'm pretty sure there are gnomes down here if I remember correctly. Yep. I hate gnomes. I detest gnomes. Have I mentioned that? I'm pretty sure I have. I've mentioned that. I hate But anyway, back to what I was saying. I get sidetracked so easily. I think... I thought there were other missions. You know, I thought we went into Snape's dungeons and whatnot, but that might be on the s second one. Which I can play through that one, too. Um, that, the second one is also a really good game. Has a lot more features than this one. And the third one... Very good too, but I, that's all the further I ever went on the PC, was the first, second, and third Harry Potter games. So we're just going to explore a little bit through the castle here before we move on. Tenacious, aren't you? I am. I will not leave you alone. I still remember where all the secrets are. I don't talk to first years. Why are all these... Do uh, I know you? Why are all the people I talk to so rude? Let's see. Watch out for the venomous tentaculus in the greenhouse. I hear they're dangerous. Okay, that was... Gryffindor, huh? Better make way for a Slytherin. Okay. Seems like the majority of the things people say are rude. Let's see. I won 20 points for Ravenclaw today. We Bragging. intend to give you Gryffindor the sound thrashing. Okay, that wasn't very nice. I don't like that Snape. He gives me the creeps. That's not nice either. There are secrets everywhere in Hogwarts. Okay, that's okay. Lovely day, don't you think? Yes, I do think. Very nice. How come you're the only one that can say anything nice to me? Shame on everyone else. 
Alright, I think we've looked everywhere. Let's go talk to Fred and George. Can't remember which way it was. Tipped the wrong way. Can I go through this door? Apparently not. Okay, Fred and George must be over this way. Chocolate frogs are really good when you're low on stamina. Aren't they, though? Secret. The most secret, secret in all of secretum. The most secrety secret in all of secretum. Secret town. I remember that. Hey, Harry. Hello. Have you collected 25 beans? I sure have. Let's try talking to George this time. Talk to Fred. He's the one with the wizard card. It's always Fred. Thanks, Harry. We really needed these. Yeah. They're for a little joke we're playing on Slytherin. Here's a wizard card for you. You've earned it. So is that the last time? Come on, George. We've got work to do. That must be the last time that they collect beans from us. Well, then I just won't bother to pick up any more beans. Who are we kidding? I'm going to collect beans. Don't worry about it. All right, now to the third floor corridor. To uh, meet with... Ron and Hermione and find out what is going on behind that Best door. Snake gives me the creeps. The third floor is up these stairs. At least it was yesterday. Unfortunately, this is a very static version of Hogwarts. Nothing ever changes. This is the first time we see Snape in this game, is it not? <clears throat> I'm not wow! sure. Wow! Did you see that? Professor Snape just came out of the Forbidden Corridor. He's limping quite badly. Come on, Harry. Let's take a look before Filch comes back. Oh, let's. Hear that growling? Oh, I think there's something awful down the corridor. I don't hear it. There we go. Now what? Better tell me on the run. We'll be late for our defense against dark arts lesson. Defense against the dark arts. Wonderful. Shall we go now or should we end the video? Eh, let's go. It can be a long video. That's fine. Today, we learn to illuminate dark magic with the Lumos spell. Oh dear. Watch my wand. Another then one of these. Hold down the mouse button and repeat the pattern. Release the button when you're done. Yes, we know the drill by now.
That is much harder than it looks, especially with this game. It just does not want to cooperate. Mr. Potter. Five points for Gryffindor. I know what's and hiding again, under that Mr. turban. Potter, let's see what you can do. I'm afraid I can't do much in my present state of fakiness with this mouth. I think the trick is to go slowly. I'm learning that. That's not it, Mr. P Potter. As slow as you can go without running out of time. That's the trick. And again, just Harry gets to go on the challenge. Just Harry. No one else. Everyone else sits in class. You may begin the Loomis challenge to practice the spell. F -f Follow me, Mr. Papata. Okay. Lead on. Hold down the mouse button to aim the spell. To cast Lumos, let go of the button. You may p practice on that g g g gargoyle. Lumos! In fact, I'm pretty sure we can only use That's Lumos on quite gargoyles. Right, isn't it? Now you can c cross the chasm and collect your challenge stars. I'll meet you at the end. All right, back to more danger. And a challenge star. Let's move on. All right. Um, beginning of this next challenge with Professor Quirrell, the Lumos challenge. Here we go. Let's see how many challenge stars we can find. I'm sure we'll find them all. I'm very thorough. Nipendo. As you've noticed. Nipendo. Well, my computer is working overtime right now. It's just, it's whirring and it's hot and, oh no. Oh, I see. I need to light up the uh, gargoyle on the other side so that my, so I can get across. There we go. That wasn't hard. There's nothing challenging in this game. The most difficult thing so far was the Quidditch match. But like these challenges, there's not really any puzzles. There's not really any creatures to fight. There's uh, not really any um, hard to find places. I mean, most of it is just very easy. where we need to get, because I see the challenge star. Um, but how do we get up there? Obviously we, uh, ooh. I see they like to integrate different spells together. Alright, I'm sure this will create some kind of light for us to go up. Okay, 
Ah, uh, I see. It's like an elevator. So, wait for me. Wonder what happens if we stand underneath it. Do we die? I'm not willing to find out. Wow, this challenge is boring so far. Professor Quirrell should be able to do better than this. Oh, that is not a secret. Interesting. What is that a picture of? It's probably supposed to be Hogwarts. It's not, though. An empty portrait. So remember, in Hogwarts, the... The, um... Paintings are supposed to be able to move and even walk out of their portraits at times. Okay. There we go. That was easy. Oh no. You know what I think is coming? I think we have to fight Peeves inside this circle area. I better stock up on health. There we go. Almost full. And we don't want to continue on yet. We need that star. <laughs> so this is just oh, a repeat. Potter, and you watch out for me. Everyone says you belong in a zone. This is just a, uh, a repeat of the first time we did this, except this time it's a little more difficult. Or maybe not. Okay, I take that back. Apparently it is not more difficult. It seemed like it was going to be more difficult. It was a more enclosed space and seemed like he was maneuvering a little bit faster. Oh, that's not the way. How do we get out of here? This way. Yes. Uh-oh. I remember dying here so many times. But we just saved, so there's nothing to worry about. Let's go this way first. A frog. Nintendo! Nintendo! Alohomora! Alohomora! I guess this game does have a lot more than I remember in it. Now, I, now that I think about what we still have to do. Uh-oh, this part is not easy. Who's that? What do you want? I think I'm lost. You're lost? Please stop that. Okay, Crabbo. 
It was just trying to help. This is the way out. Hmm, maybe not. Oh, I see. A bridge. Just what we need. Hmm. Do I know you? Is he a Hufflepuff? I can't tell. Yellow? Or is that, uh... Green. I'm colorblind, so I don't know. Notice how it plays that scary, whooshy sound to know, to sh tell us that we might die if we go down there. Alright. I'm assuming we have to go back this way. But honestly, I don't know. Okay, yep, yep, we do. We have to go back this way. And we have to cross the chasm again. Uh, uh. Wow, they never catch me off guard, do they? You, you have to get up pretty early in the morning to fool me. And I'm sensing nearly headless Nick for some reason. I'm sorry, I told you at the beginning of this video I would be giving away a lot of spoilers. But, uh... I, I just remember so many things about this game. They're just... They, I don't consciously remember them, but they just come flooding back when I play the game. Hello again, Harry. Hi. Clever lad! You found my secret napping place. Shh! This is your secret napping place. Hello again, Harry. What a horrible place for a nap. Oh my, this looks dangerous. Luckily there is a save game book. I'll probably need it. This might be my second death in the game. Alright. Let's walk around the edge first and see what there is. There's gotta be some things to collect. Chocolate frog. I only was missing about 5% health, but now I'm full. And come back. Oh, I remember this when you have to wait so long. This is like the Hogwarts death chamber. I'm still amazed at what they put Hogwarts students through. I guess a wizard's life is just full of peril all the time. Uh. Looks like I'm going to fall off this, like it's... Okay, I think I... Oh, there we go. The end, right? Yes. Collected all the challenge stars. Of course I did. Twenty points for good Gryffindor. Thank you. Now, off to check up the potions lesson. Potions? I knew there was a potions lesson. Don't make us start it right now. Okay. There we go. Now I need to find a save game book so I can end this video. Alohomora! I think I've put you through enough 
for now. Should put a wizard card down there. Or something to make it more worth my while. They don't give you enough time to get a running jump. Okay. Wait till the very edge to jump. Good. Uh, I presume potions will be in the basement. Uh oh, what have we got going on here? This is our potions lesson. And it looks like we're already late. Oh no, the trend continues. We're constantly late for lessons. Nice uh, surprise. A wizard card. I was not expecting that, considering we just spent five minutes jumping, risking life and limb to get a couple of beans. Okay, I guess we have to start potions. Maybe not. You know what, I think, I think I can end it right there. I think it'll save from that point when I walk through the door. So we're gonna end the video right here. Next time, I'm going to begin my potions lesson with Professor Snape. And uh, this will be scary and challenging. Maybe not challenging, maybe not scary. But uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. So come back next time to see me in potions class with Snape. Goodbye. <laughs>